with the right care and attention, we can harness some of nature's essential forces in a simple indoor environment, be it a small room, a greenhouse, or even a cupboard. So let's take a look at a very basic setup and some important features that we'll be working with. To keep the plants healthy and free of disease, the whole area has been vacuumed and cleaned with a household disinfectant. And now that it's clean, we'll keep it that way. To reflect the light as evenly as possible, we've painted our walls and ceiling with a white matte paint. The white plastic sheeting would work just as good and in some situations, it could provide some creative solutions. A thermometer will help us keep an eye on the temperature. From start to finish, the ideal range will be between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius. Next is our light source. Here we're using a 400 watt high pressure sodium vapor lamp, which has a reflector to maximize light intensity, and the whole fixture is suspended on a nylon cord which will allow us to adjust the correct distances between light and plants as they grow. These lamps can explode when handled incorrectly. Always keep the bulb clean and free of any moisture or oil. When handling, always use clean dry gloves and make sure the electricity is off and the unit is completely cooled down. Our light requires a type of transformer ballast which we have housed outside our grow room in a dry space on a fireproof surface where no people or animals can accidentally come in contact with it. To regulate our light cycles we'll need a simple automatic time clock which is manufactured to safely handle the 400 watts our light requires. It's worth mentioning here that we've had the assistance of a professional in helping us with the electrics for our room. If there's going to be water and electricity in a relatively small space, it is important to eliminate any possibility of fire or electrical shocks. Now that we're satisfied that everything is well insulated and we have all the correct wiring, we can proceed and grow our plants with confidence. Moving on, we have a hygrometer, which will tell us how humid our room is. Throughout our process, we'll be working between 50 to 80 percent relative humidity. However, when the air is too dry, it'll affect the growth of our plants and promote unwanted insects. And if it's too wet, we could get fungus, which in turn could rot the buds. We'll be able to help regulate the humidity with a simple fan and air extractor. Our fan will help cool the light, circulate the air, and even stimulate nature's winds to promote a strong, healthy stock. Although we have the luxury of an air extractor helping to take out the stale air, a window that could be opened on a semi-regular basis would work just as well. Finally, We've closed off our room with a white reflective curtain to keep the light inside. The plants like it that way. And this is our basic setup. We need to get growing. Next, let's take a look at a very important element to our process. 